I love the site here. It's very beautiful. Uh, it has a lot uh, for uh, Jordan history, especially from the Umayyad uh, period, uh, because this is very unique in the way the Umayyad decided to make it. In 2008, Kuseyamra was included in the World Monuments Watch, and since 2009, WMF works at the site in cooperation with the Department of Antiquities of Jordan and the Italian ISCR. This work includes new archaeological survey, scientific analysis, and full documentation through remote sensing and 3D laser scanning, which provides a comprehensive record of the present conditions of the complex. Conservation work followed documentation. Since it's rediscovered in uh, 1898 by Mosul, and until now, there were huge arguments about Amra, if it's Islamic and from which period. By this project, now there was very, very important discoveries on Amra. The most important things it could be that inscriptions in Amr, and it's the first inscriptions uh, mentioned about Walid bin Yazid, and that solved all problems and gave an answer about all questions about the history of the uh, site. So basically, the project consisted in the evaluation and assessment of the, uh, of the condition of the site, analysis of the various problems that were affecting uh, the site, including also then uh, laboratory analysis that allowed us to understand on, on one side the causes, but also the consequences of, uh, of, this, uh, of this damage. Inside, the work was much more slow due to the, the delicate nature of the intervention to be done, which included reattach the paint layers that were detached from the walls, and the delicate cleaning, and uh, also some of the um, um, you know, very delicate work of uh, showing better the paintings that, uh, that we were finding under layers and layers of uh, later additions and, uh, and, uh, and uh, chemicals. Uh, uh, consolidations that unfortunately were not uh, so successful or uh, over the years, especially in the last 40 years, that they deteriorated to a point to, uh, to become a danger for, uh, for the paintings. There was people who also be involved in uh, training in the conservation of the wall painting, and this is this was a very uh, good opportunity for the OA to 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 be involved uh, in this uh, uh, a very high standard of uh, technical work in conservation. We began the intervention together with the uh, World Monument Fund and uh, the Department of Antiquities of the Ashamite kind of Jordan in uh, 2011. And we spent a lot of time for uh, uh, deciding the methodology and the technique for the intervention. And then we uh, used, and uh, we are using uh, also now, a mixture of uh, many kinds of alcohol to remove these natural resins. The result of the cleaning uh, is very good. And uh, we have now a very new vision of the, these uh, these paintings. And this uh, cycle of uh, paintings is very important for our knowledge because we now can see these uh, very fragile and uh, strange pass and uh, not well known passage between the late antiquities and the new. Uh, Arabic power, the new Islam power. The production of a site management plan was also part of this comprehensive project. 
The planning process included the involvement of students from nearby universities in producing visitor surveys. It also included the participation of many members of civil society and local communities, which generated interest and possible solutions for economic and cultural development in the region. So, heritage management which is being embedded in a community. A heritage is a resource of a community. And, um, and therefore, heritage management needs to be based and, uh, and deeply rooted in the community through community participation. Because, because heritage, besides being a resource of, of our past, is also a resource for the, for the development of, of, uh, of the territories and of uh, for social uh, economic development of, of, of the areas.